we're back. So today we're going over the, the hip hinge. This is a really important uh, progression before we begin doing any type of squat work. Uh, the important thing to realize is that the movement is going to be coming from your hip, not from your spine. So your hip is a big, strong ball and socket joint. Your spine is kind of like a, a bicycle chain, if you can imagine it. We need to have this stiff and stable and use the big ball and socket joint from our hip. Okay, so the way this is going to work, uh, from the side, I'm going to start in a high kneel position with my shoulders back. I'm pinching my shoulder blades back together. You can, an easy way to do this is steer your thumbs to the outside. You're going to feel the musculature contract in between your shoulder blades when you do this. Okay? So I'm stabilizing my spine. And now as I'm um, going back into my sort of squat, my buttocks is going to travel towards my heels. I'm not going to be losing my neutral lumbar spine. Okay? So I'm coming back, squeezing the buttocks, come to the top, all right? You'll notice the pivot is through my hip. I'm not bending through my spine, okay? So I'm coming back down, keeping my shoulders back, squeezing with the buttocks, one, back down, two. So this is the same thing as in the side bridge, right? I'm in my uh, bottom position and I'm hinging at my hip into the top position, okay? This translates over into the squat as well. When I'm up tall, spine's neutral. I'm coming back down. I'm not losing that neutral spine. All the movement is coming out of my hip, okay? And the same thing if you're doing a deadlift. Um, even though my trunk is tipping down towards the floor, I'm not losing my neutral lumbar spine. And that's the hip hinge.